Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these adorable shamrock glasses using your Cricut just in time for St. Patrick's Day. So the materials are pretty simple. You need some cardstock. I'm going with glitter cardstock. Actually, the heavier, the better, because then the glasses feel less flimsy. You'll need a little green cellophane, and I just got that off of a cellophane roll that I ordered on Amazon. I went with a little bit thicker cellophane. You'll need, of course, your Cricut or your Silhouette to cut it. And then I'm gonna use some Barely Art glue to attach the sides to the front of the glasses. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go out to my website, www.beesneescreates.com. I've also linked that down below in the description. And you'll want to go to the freebies page and download the free Shamrock sunglasses template. So once you do that, download that, save that onto your computer. And then we're going to come over here, hit upload. And we are going to hit upload image and go ahead and browse out to where you saved your file. Then once you find your file, go ahead and upload it. Select it and add it to the canvas. Now I made these for my fourth graders classroom so these are sized perfectly for an elementary school child. If you need to make them bigger feel free just to take this and drag it and that'll make it as big as you need it to be. One thing that we have to do first is we'll want to come over here and select ungroup because we need to take these lines right here and we need to change those from cut lines to score lines. So we're going to go ahead and hit ungroup again. And you, you will want to select the lines. It's easier for me to do it over here sometimes in the layers panel. Right now it's the basic cut operation. And I want to go down and I want to change that to score. And I need to attach that score line to the glasses. So I'm going to select all of them and hit attach. This is the portion that will be cut out using the cellophane and this is the portion that will be cut out using the cardstock. Now the only other thing we have to, before we can go ahead and make these cute shamrock glasses is we need to add a setting to cut the cellophane. Cellophane is really tricky. It can tear very easily and there is no setting in your Cricut that optimally handles this right now. So what we have to do is come up here to the Hamburg menu come down to manage custom materials. And if you've never been in here before, it's pretty cool because this tells you the pressure and the passes for all the materials that are set up on the Cricut and what blade type you should use. So we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and we're gonna add the new material name, cellophane. And the great thing about this is once you set it up, you will always have it. We are going to save that. And then it's going to ask me what my cut pressure is going to be. And I actually want it to be 150, but it won't let me save at 150 for some weird reason. So I'm going to go with 149. And then next to it, this is how many times should it pass. And we're going to do two times. And the fine point blade is great. We're going to save this. And if we ever need to change this, if you find that your machine isn't exactly like mine or your cellophane is a little thicker or a little thinner than mine, just come back in here and mess with the cut pressure and you'll until you get your perfect cut. So let's save this and close out. We'll go ahead and make it. And then since I am doing the rest of my shamrock glasses on glitter cardstock, the setting I'm going to use for that is glitter cardstock. And if it's particularly thick, then you'll need a little more pressure. Okay, so I have my piece of cellophane. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it is pressed down very flat, very well onto my mat. You don't want a lot of wrinkles because you want it to be pressed flat against that mat. So when it comes over and it cuts it, it doesn't rip it. Cellophane is very delicate, very easy to rip. Um, so you need the exact setting and everything set up perfectly to get a good cut. 
And I actually am going to clean off my blade. It's a little messy from my last cut. I, again, since this tears, you want everything, you want your conditions to be as good as possible. And we got a great cut with this. So what we're gonna do is slowly and carefully remove that excess. And then this tears, so be very careful. I'm going to use this to work mine up. And I'm gonna slowly peel it up. Perfect. And again, if yours did not come out like this, if yours tore or anything, Make sure your mat is clean. Make sure it's stuck down well, and then adjust your pressure settings a little bit. Go more or less depending on what results you're getting, and you should be able to cut your cellophane. The glitter cardstock, I'm gonna use my green standard grip mat. I'm gonna put that on, and I'm going to use my brayer to get it nice and adhered to the mat. And then don't forget, we also are going to score part of it. So I've attached my scoring tool there too. Okay, and now we always wanna Flip our cardstock over and peel the mat away from the cardstock so we don't bend our beautiful glasses. out perfect now you don't need these but you could you maybe use them again for table confetti or some cute st patrick's day decorations because they are very usable even though we're not using them in our project okay now comes the easy part which is just assembling the glasses so if you remember we had um the score mark right there so we know exactly where to bend it and it should just bend very easily for you. Then we'll want to attach the cellophane to the glasses. And what we'll do is we'll just put some glue around it and glue it on. And then next we will just take the ear pieces and glue those on. Just make sure you're gluing them on the right way so that this hook is down so it goes over the ear. And I use Barely Art Glue and it does work great on glitter. You just need to use a little bit more and you just have to let it dry a little bit longer than you would on normal cardstock. Normal cardstock, it dries almost instantly. And then what you'll wanna do is just make sure it's not hanging over the edge. So you don't want it to hang over here and you don't want it to hang over there. You could definitely also use a hot glue gun if you don't wanna wait for this to dry. And now when putting the second one on, just make sure it's lined up across from the first one. Otherwise, they're gonna be a little bit wonky on your face. And here they are. I would say if you're doing a whole bunch of these, 
like I'm going to make these for my son's classroom. I'll probably use hot glue to do this. This attaches just fine, but it just takes a little bit longer. So if you're going to bang a lot of these out quickly, then um, regular glue for this, but hot glue for that. Mm -hmm. 